Hey there, welcome back to this series where I'm explaining some cool interesting JavaScript concepts while I go deep into them. And after watching this video, you will know what is a callback function, which is a pretty important topic in JavaScript, which you're going to use all the time. And what is the difference between a synchronous callback function and an asynchronous callback function? So let's just jump onto my screen. Okay, so what is a callback, right? So a callback is very simple. It is just a function which is being passed into another function as an argument. Uh, so for example, let's say we have an array, right? Um, and we have just one, two, three, four, five, right? And what I want to do is that I just want to print all these elements individually, but increased by one i'll use an inbuilt function of array called map so if you do array dot map and if you don't know what a map is it is just a function it is a function which just uh, iterates over all the elements of the array and just produces a new array or you can just do anything with each element of that array right um so how it works is that if i just um so inside a map function you can use another function which will which will do things to each element of the array right and this function that i will i'm gonna pass into this map function is called a callback so this right here is a callback function right so i'm what i'm gonna do is i'll just do console.log and here i'm gonna write a and this a or anything that you write here is the is each element that the map will automatically passes into a function that you provide into the map function right so here i'll just write a plus one right now what this does is that it just it trades over each element to a and a plus one is just printed now if i just save it you'll see i'll print two three four two three four five six right which is just two three four five six just one being added to each right so this function that I passed into another function that is the map is called a callback so this is a callback right so basically that is all a function being passed into another function is called a callback right now let me show you what is a synchronous callback and what is an asynchronous callback so let me first tell you about the synchronous callback so JavaScript as a language is a single threaded language right and for that reason it is it works synchronously and what do i mean by synchronously is that when there are some code it just some code written in javascript uh, it as default just goes from top to bottom one by one and that thing is called being synchronous right for example now i have two tasks uh, i have this task one and i have this um, task two right cool so and these two are functions uh, so function and this prints uh, one right this is gonna print one here and this task two uh, is gonna is another function which is gonna print two here right so now if I save it um, so cool it is working fine how to make this task to a callback is that if I just got this and I just put this in here so I'm passing this function task2 as an argument into this task1 right so this is a callback now what I will do is that so as I'm passing as an argument I need a parameter right for example you, you when you pass a variable you write your a or some variable name right so here I'll also write a name I am writing callback but you can write here anything so here I'm passing this callback and I'm just gonna call the callback here so this parameter is taking this task to and which is this function right and here I'm calling this callback which means that I'm calling this task to function and if I just save it you'll see that it works right so this is basically a synchronous callback and why it is synchronous is that first one is being printed and then two is being printed right so one two right just first one is executed then two is executed because javascript just knows how to do one two three because it's synchronous single threaded that is pretty simple that is synchronous callback it's just executed one and then two right so one after the other which is called synchronous and this is a callback so it's called a synchronous callback now imagine a scenario where you're gonna use an api to download a video which is gonna take some time and then you're gonna show the user okay i have downloaded this video now let's just simulate this scenario so to simulate an api fetching scenario i will use a set the set timeout function why i'm doing that is that when you fetch an api obviously it takes some time right so to simulate that i'll just use set timeout and if you don't know what a set timeout is it just um, 
executes whatever you put in there whatever thing you do in set timeout it just executes after some time at which you can decide so basically here what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna uh, put a function and i'm gonna tell that after four seconds whatever is in here you're gonna uh, execute it after four seconds right cool so what i will do here i'll just imagine i'm just fetching an api and it's just showing to the user that okay started downloading uh the video right and it will take four seconds to fetch this thing and this is gonna simulate our api fetch and after this finishes i want to print that uh, okay we have downloaded the video right so i'll use this callback that i'm passing or this function to do that so here i'm gonna write okay um downloaded the video okay so everything is good now what i'm expecting is that whenever i fire this thing what what is gonna happen is that uh i'm gonna get here i'm gonna wait for four seconds it is gonna show me start downloading the video and after four seconds when it gets when it gets executed i'm gonna then this gets fired and i'm going to see downloaded the video right this is what i'm expecting uh, this is what we will generally expect but if i save you'll see something different so if i save it you'll see that you somehow see this downloaded the video first and then you see started downloading the video well why that happened well this happened because the set timeout the set timeout is a asynchronous thing right okay and if you don't know what asynchronous is the synchronous thing that you know it executes one by one and if something is taking some time it will get blocked there right but the asynchronous thing that when it encounters a asynchronous function it is just gonna take it out of this synchronous thing the synchronous thing that is going on and then it is going to execute it in another area while also the synchronous thing is going on and when this get executed so both are getting simultaneously executed right and that's the benefit of asynchronous and the moment it gets executed this asynchronous thing gets executed it will just get into the synchronous thing so that is exactly what happened here so when it uh, just got this set timeout it knew that okay this is asynchronous uh, javascript knew that and it just took this thing to some other place to execute while firing this function right so you saw the downloaded the video first and then you saw started downloading the video because to execute this console.log does not take any time so it just fired this while executing this in another area and then it just printed download the video and after four seconds it printed started downloading the video that's what happened but we don't want that well how do we fix that is that if i just take this so we know it is asynchronous right so this is just being executed in another part right so if i just put this callback function if i just save now you will see that we're not gonna get anything because here our api is being fetched okay and then it just showed us okay started downloading the video and downloaded the video so when you pass a callback into an asynchronous function which is our case is the set timeout uh this thing is called now a uh, asynchronous callback and if you want to make the syntax cleaner you just can re uh, remove this function and just you can use arrow functions which you might be familiar with which is esx version of it and as you can see um, it is gonna just work the same way now you're gonna use this whatever is, it is happening here all the time when you're gonna use async await or promises to you know fetch api because how this asynchronous functions help is that when you have a, a video being downloaded you don't want the whole website to not load uh, if you are just doing synchronous synchronous programming which means just one two three and when if the three is downloading a video the four five six are not going to be executed but using an async function but just putting that three thing whatever you are doing in the line three into an async function the three is going to execute and while the four five six are also executing right so that's the whole point of using asynchronous function because asynchronous is non-blocking and synchronous blocks the program when it takes time so that is synchronous and asynchronous callbacks and callback itself and if you're watching till now do let me know in the comments that really means a lot and do ask whatever you want to ask in the comments and 
any concept or topic that you have doubt with that i can explain you can just recommend a video and if you and obviously if you love the video do smash the subscribe button that means a lot and i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day and keep building